Last November, tornado, uh, tornadoes ripped through the state and Tippecanoe County as well. There is one company that is still picking up the pieces nearly eight months later. News 18 meteorologist Amber Hardwick joins us live from Verstalpine Road Tech in Lafayette with the company's progress. Amber. Jeff Gina, I'm standing in a spot where a tornado hit Verstalpine Road Tech, and that is just southeast of Lafayette nearly eight months ago. I'm actually standing in the manufacturing area, or what used to be the manufacturing area, but the company has a different plan for this location. November 17th was a Sunday nearly eight months ago. That afternoon, 30 tornadoes rolled through Indiana. The largest one was rated an EF3, which touched down about five miles southeast of Lafayette. News 18 Chief Meteorologist Chad Evans says it was a tornado that had Verstalpine Rotec off US 52. All along its path, most of the damage was EF1, but it seemed to peak in strength. Uh, right on the southeast side of Lafayette. According to a survey conducted by the National Weather Service, there was significant damage to Verstalpine with estimated peak wind speeds at 140 miles per hour. Verstalpine President Andrew Ball says it's a day he will never forget. But it was just a mess. It was things that you could never ever imagine that you had to look for. Ball says most of the damage was in the manufacturing area of the building. Verstalpine built a new area behind the building and made the old location a parking lot. He says the front of the building will become a new break and locker room for employees. Employees have just been fabulous through this entire uh, situation. They've been very flexible, have done a great job um, working with us and uh, one of the things to sort of repay that was be to build a new facility on the front here. Ball says about 80 percent of the damages are repaired. He says the new manufacturing building should be completed in about four weeks. It's gone about as well as could be expected. We had a terrible winter and it's been a pretty wet spring which has held things up but uh, everybody's making really good progress. Ball says the estimated cost for all the repairs is about $10 million. He says they plan to have all the construction finished by October and also have a reopening celebration by then as well. Reporting live from Tippecanoe County, Amber Hardwick, News 18.